Hello everybody and welcome to Facebook Live. I've got bits of fluff on me. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Tessa. This is Get Fit with Tessa. Just going to wait for everyone to join us as we start setting up for our intermediate Pilates. Still haven't come up for a better name for it. Maybe Friday Pilates or Fun Friday. I don't know. We need a name. So if anyone can think of a name. Hello guys, welcome. So hopefully you're getting the indication, your notification coming up, probably down here somewhere, or maybe up there, that the class has started. We always have a few minutes kind of warming up into the class. So while um, we're waiting for everyone to join us, hello, hello Kathy. Uh, while we wait for everyone to join us, just make sure you've got what you need. So I've got a mat. Hello, Mum. I would suggest you have Matt. Hello, Deb. Good evening. And what a gorgeous evening it is too. Matt, bottle of water. Um, I've got a cushion because it's quite useful. So if you want a cushion, have a cushion. You don't need to have one if you don't want to. Um, I have washed my feet because they were filthy. Went for a dog walk and uh, in my trainers and came back and realised about two minutes ago that my feet were absolutely filthy. So I've just washed them. Luckily, you don't have to wash yours. You could be just they're in your gym jams already, couldn't you? Or maybe, a, you know, a cocktail dress for Friday evening, because it is Good Friday after all. So maybe you've dressed up for this occasion. Um, welcome, everybody. It, this is an intermediate class. So if you've never done Pilates before, I would recommend that probably this isn't the best one to start with. You might want to start with the bite size or with the Pilates for all. Hello, the heart come up. Oh, um, so if, but if you are um, a regular Pilates doer, practitioner we could call you couldn't we for being fancy um then this class will be absolutely fine for you you'll notice i'm sitting we're going to do the whole class on the floor not standing so you can sit yourselves down straight away i won't make you stand up i'm going to do a variety of different stuff some stuff you might really enjoy other bits might be a bit more challenging just do what suits you if you've got any injuries at all consider them don't just bash on through so if you've maybe got bad wrists we are going to do some stuff today which is weight bearing with the arms so um possibly you might need to take some alternatives and you can always just go on your back and do some leg lowering do some bridge stuff there's a, a, a world of pilates options out there aren't there so we're going to get ourselves going you might hear a bit of noise my dog is currently next door which is good my husband's got a zoom um pub they've gone to the pub on zoom which they don't they're, they're doing every friday now so he's in the it's in the kitchen being quite noisy so hopefully he'll stay there um it's, it is quite funny listen to what they talk about anyway we are going to get going so um, i'm going to turn the music up a little bit and i'm gonna get myself sitting so we're going to start hopefully that volume's about right you should hear just a little bit of music i'm going to start sitting on my cushion because it makes it more comfortable. Now, we're gonna sit cross-legged. You don't have to. So if you'd rather sit with your feet together in front or your legs out wide, that's absolutely fine. Um, I like the cushion because I must admit, sitting cross-legged, I find quite uncomfortable. So sitting on the cushion just lifts your bum a little bit so it's not quite so uncomfortable. Try and relax those knees down. If your knees are right up here, please don't stress about it. Try and relax. Try and relax through. Okay, lovely and tall. Let's start with some breathing. Breathe in through the nose. Hello, Rachel. Exhale. It's twice in one day, Rachel. Brilliant. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's put some arms in. So I've relaxed my shoulders down, but I'm really tall through the chest. Inhale, reach up all the way. Exhale, bring the arms down and out. Inhale. Exhale, still exhaling. Inhale. Now this is a lovely way to get our shoulders warmed up, get into those back muscles. Lots of us suffer with the kind of mobile device forward lean, that kind of iPhone, mobile phone position. So we're doing the opposite here. We're opening the chest. Exhale. Oh, that's inhale, sorry, isn't it? Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Hands on the floor next to you. And we're just going to lean side to side. You'll notice I have a new top. I've had some feedback, mainly from my husband and my father-in-law, telling me that I need some brighter clothing. 
So I've gone kind of mint, mint top. It's a nice floppy top, good and comfy. Perfect for when it's warm. Two more to go. One more. Good, let's go back to those arms. So start them here for me, open them out, bring them up, down in front. So open out, bring them up. Now we're doing three movements, so it makes the breathing a little bit weird, doesn't it? So probably we should breathe in for one, breathe out for the other, then breathe in. Breathe out, tummy's working hard. Good, one more time. Lovely and smooth. And I'm expecting beautiful, smooth movement from all of you because you're very experienced. Hand behind the head. Option, of course, to have your arm overhead. And in a minute, we're going to do some mermaid moves, which are going to build on this. When we start doing them, if they don't suit you, you can always come back to this move instead. One more, over we go. Lovely. Arms come up. Now let's have them out wide. Remember, don't wear those shoulders up high. Drop them down. Breath in. Little twist. And back the other way. So I'm looking for inspiration, everybody. I need a name for this class. Intermediate Pilates sounds so boring. So if anyone can think of a good name for it, maybe Fun Friday Pilates or Chill Pilates, because the idea is this is quite a relaxing class. We are working at that in intermediate intensity but it is meant to be a kind of a wind down from your week. So if anyone can think of a good name, pop it on the chat. We'll see who comes up with the best. I'd love to give you a prize, but I won't see you to give you one, will I? One more. Good, well done, relax down. Now, these legs are probably feeling fairly uncomfortable, so unfold them, oh, give them a little shake. We're gonna to go to mermaid position now. So some of you will remember it. If you don't, don't worry, get rid of your cushion. Check that out of the way. And I want you to have your right leg in front. So I've crossed my right leg along, and you can see it's kind of in line with my mat. My other leg has come round behind me. Another name for this seated position is 99. So your legs are meant to look. My cat's having a lovely wash and brush up over there. 99 leg position. Now, if this hurts your hip, just take this leg, pop it there. Okay, or go back to cross legs, you're fine. So, 99. Now, in an ideal world, I can almost do it, we'd have a lovely straight back. Now, you can see I'm slightly curved, aren't I? But do your best to sit really tall. Pop one hand down. So, if this is your right leg, right hand down. Breathe in. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, back you come. Good, let's do it again. Exhale. Now, this is where we use our imaginations. You are a beautiful mermaid. There's no imagination required there. You're sitting out on a beach or maybe a rock, charming those sailors to encourage them to come and crash their boats. Or is that the sirens? I forget. Anyway, whichever one it is, you're looking lovely and elegant. One more. Beautiful. Now stay here for me. Popping this right hand now on the left thigh, my left hand on my foot. I'm going to do a little twist back into that central position. Little twist, back in. So I always think of mermaids um, wearing those bras made out of um, conch shells, not conch. Those, oh, what, what are they called? Scallops, that's right, those kind of shells. So you can, you can make yourself one perhaps the next time. There we go. Okay, let's add those two together. In inhale, exhale. Bring yourselves back, add the turn. And again, now while we're doing this, everybody, I know you guys know, because you're really experienced, but I want you to remember to pull in your stomach muscles. Over we go again. Bring yourselves back up. Little twist. Fantastic. We're gonna unfurl the legs. Easiest way is to go back. Oh, give them a little shake. Those hips can get a bit uncomfortable. We'll work through that, don't worry. 99 the other way, or mermaid, so. Other legs in front, so that's my left leg now. Other legs behind, remember you can always pop it around here if it's really uncomfortable. And again, try to sit as straight as you can. So I can feel there's a gap under my buttock, between the buttock and the floor. If I had the really good hips, I'd be sitting straight, there would be no gap there. Now sometimes you might feel this in your knee, and if it gets really uncomfortable, straighten that leg. Okay, let's start with that little side bend, over we go and back. Now, it's an exhale as you go over, 
inhale as you come back. And I want you to think about that lovely lengthening of the arm. So we're trying to get as straight a line as you can from your hip to your fingertips and then back. Okay, the bird's tweeting away outside there. It's been an absolutely stunning day, hasn't it? Gorgeous. And again, two more to go. Exhale, over we go. Use your tummy. This is lovely waist work. Heavy on the back as well, so get those tummies on. Back up to sitting. Turn, look over your shoulder, come back. Now you can make this as hard as you like. If you want to make it harder, twist further, hold longer. Easier, just make it a little movement. One more. Okay, let's put those two moves together. So breath in. Exhale, over you go. Back into centre, rotate. And I'm always cautious with this move. We do, we, do, we do it for a few minutes, but don't go crazy on this. If you decide to do this at home, you think, oh, I'll do 20 minutes of that if it's good for my waist. Be careful, because it's working very hard, and you can overdo it on your back a little bit on this one. So just... What we'll do will be enough today. One more. Good, that is super. Okay, again, back you come. Oh, give your legs a little shake out. Brilliant. We're going to lie straight onto our side. So let's all do the same side. Let's do our right hand side. Down we go. Oh, I'm running out of space here. So, head resting on your hand. You can just about see my legs there, can't you? All of you know you should be lying so that you're on your hips, you're not rolled back on your bottom. Okay, now I want you to tuck your bottom leg behind you. Top leg we're going to lift and over. Now you can't really see my foot, I know. Let me move a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to put the arm up here. But it's a flat foot. So I'm not pointing it, it's flat. Lost my microphone slightly there, that's it. Now this arm's going to come up in the air. And I want you to breathe, everybody, breathe. I've got my um, right hand tucked up because it, otherwise I'll lose it underneath the furniture. <laughs> oh, the joy of exercising at home. One more. Good, stop that leg in that top position. What I want you to do is come up, bring your head up for me. So I want you to have a little look at this leg. We are going to move it forwards and behind. Now the temptation with this one is to go, oh, I can take it behind and go, Whoa! and end up on your back. So don't take it too far. Those who want to add a little bit extra, need to shuffle forward a little bit more. You're going to flex your foot at the front, look at my dirty feet, and point at the back. I was saying that I actually had to wash my feet just before I came on air, because I realized they were absolutely filthy, but they, I didn't do a very good job, did I? And again, bring that leg forwards and back. One more time. And back, that's brilliant. Now bring your knees forward for me. All I'm going to ask you to do is lift this leg and lower it. It's a simple move, simple, simple. Breathe, you can have your head back down again. It is more comfortable, isn't it? So lifting and lowering that leg, trying not to rock backwards. So it can be tempting to get a bit of that going on. So try not to, just control. And this is working, of course, the leg and hip, you can feel that, but also your stomach and your back. So use your tummy muscles, pull them in. A couple more. Bottom muscles should be aching now. One more. Oh, well done. Straighten out. Give them a little rub. And we're going to gently roll over. So either roll away from the screen, but obviously you probably want to see me. I don't know. You might not want to see me, but my mum wants to see me. Over onto your side. That's better that way. You can see my whole body here, can't you? Okay, so we're going to start like we did last time. So head down. And again, hopefully you don't need your hand on the floor. So we're going to pop it up in the air. And we're going to lift and lower that top leg. Now I'm working really hard to use my stomach. I'm focusing. I'm looking at the camera dot on my iPad to keep my eyes focused. So I'm not drifting off. Good work. Pushing through your heel, everyone. Look at those feet. They're flat. They're not pointy. They're not floppy. They're really strong. Pushing through. Breathe. Give me another four, three, two, one more. Our legs are going to feel this today, guys. I tell you, have a little rest. Tuck your bottom one behind. 
I'm going to put my hand on the floor just for a bit of support. I'm going to start bringing my foot forward and backwards. And you can come up here if you want to, or if you prefer, I quite like that position. So it depends on how you're feeling really, doesn't it? Legs goes forward and backwards. Making sure you're getting some lovely deep breaths. And slowing everything down. Keep your mind focused on what you're doing. Those who want to, start pointing your foot as it goes back. Flex as it comes forwards. So this is good. I like this one because we're actively stretching. So as that leg comes forward, calf and hamstring stretch. As you go back, it's stretching down the front of your shin. Good. Four more. Everyone breathe. Three more, two more, and one more. You might have noticed already, this is quite heavy on the legs today. Okay, leg goes down, keep bumming, a little bit of rest. Bring yourselves up to sitting. We're gonna have a little break from legs for a minute, but don't worry, we're coming back to them. Okay, sitting lovely and straight and tall. Tummy muscles pulled in. Bring your arms out in front for me. Keeping your left hand still, bring your right hand to waist. And then open out and look behind you. Bring all the way back. Then the other hand. So hand to waist. Doesn't matter which side you're doing, guys. So don't worry if you think, well, actually, I'm doing the left and she said the right. Makes no odds. First of all, because it doesn't matter. And also, I can't see you anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So bring that hand to waist. Next week, the, route, the um, timetable is going to be just the same. So first of all, thank you for joining me on a bank holiday. Very good of you. And also, don't forget, Monday is a bank holiday. We're here as normal. The only change on Monday is that all classes, optional fancy dress. You don't have to go mad, but it might be nice if you did. So if you have got a fancy dress outfit in the cupboard and you thought, do you know what? I'm going to dress up as Cruella de Vil. Then do it. You might want to dress up as Easter Bunny. Whatever you want to do. But if you fancy it, I'm going to be digging. I'm going up in the attic. I'm going to see what I can find. <laughs> what I should really do is just do, delve into the dressing up box and just wear whatever I find. That could be interesting. One more. I don't think I'm going to record that. <laughs> Give your arms a little shake out. Super. Back over onto your right hand side. Down we go. Uh, and this one, I want you to have your head rested in your hand and bring your legs forwards. So can you see that there's, I'm no longer that straight line. My legs are forward. Now this is a ballet legs one. And those of you who come to class will remember this one. It's quite tough. So breath in first. Bring that toe up so you're touching the inside of your knee. Then straighten your leg and bring it down. And again, slide it up. Reach up, bring it down. So I want you to imagine now you're, uh, let's think, Covent Garden. You're at the Royal Ballet. You're just warming up. You're waiting for your call. You're going to go on stage in the lead role in The Nutcracker. Not The Nutcracker. Is it Giselle? Or oh, who knows? Whatever she's called. Anyway, you're going to go on and just wow everybody. So you're just warming your hips up. And then we're going to reverse. So it comes back in and slides down. I had to really think about that there. Up and it's slinky down the inside of your car. If you haven't shaved your legs because you haven't needed to, you might be struggling a bit here, a bit of friction. Perhaps now's the time to get the razor out. Only if you want to, of course. And again, slide down. One more. Touch it in, slide down. Oh, good. Straighten your body up. Head back down. Okay, we're going to do a little side balance. I want you to lift both feet off the floor. Now, it's really tempting to rock backwards. Don't do that. Bring your body forward, hand on the floor for support. My left foot's lifted and my bottom one's, my top of the one's lifted, sorry, and my bottom one's lifted a tiny bit too. Suck in your tummy. See if you can get the hand that was supporting you to come up. Now, you might want it here. I always imagine I'm patting a sausage dog there, so that kind of height. Those who feel they can, let's try getting that arm up in the air. Now, Tummies in, pelvic floor lifted, everybody breathe. We're going to hold. So this is as difficult as standing balancing, isn't it? Hard work. If you're finding it too easy, then what you can do, guys, is start lifting and lowering that top leg. Breathe. So today's, I've really focused today on the core and lower body. So legs, hopefully we'll squeeze a bit of arm work in, but a lot of leg work today. Two more. One more. Lovely. Just relax. Oh. Swizzle yourselves round. 
over to the other side. And there we go. And we're going to go back to those ballet legs again. So I like to have my head supported. You don't have to. Legs forward. So you see, I've brought them really long way forward. So we've got a kind of 45 degrees, maybe, Rachel? 45? I think so. Okay, breath in. Pull the leg in through to the knee. Stretch up and down. So I'm not trying to get my leg pointing up to the ceiling, not straight, it's on a diagonal. And again, you get a really good flash of my dirty feet. Up we go. And I want you to really lengthen through those feet. Ballet legs. That's it, working fluidly through the hip. If you've got a hip clunk, join the club. Most of us do, don't worry about it. Long as it doesn't hurt. That's fine. Two more. Are you working your stomachs, everybody? Pull them in. One more. And we're going to reverse. So tap to the inside thigh, slide down, up we go. And this is such a wonderful toning and conditioning move. We're really working the, the limbs through a great range of movement, getting into those hips, knees, oh, really working hard. Let's have three more. Two more. One more. Oh, finish it there. Well done. Bring those legs back straight again. Head resting down. See, I can just about see you. I think my head's just in shot. Okay, flat feet. Lift both feet. So you can see that bottom one. It's only lifted a little bit, but enough to make things difficult. Tummy muscles pulled in. Pelvic floor lifted. Up goes that arm. Now, if you take the arm too far back, you will roll over. So try not to do that. Hand pointing up to ceiling. You can always do the sausage dog height. That seems to help. I think it's just a counterbalance. Up with that arm, let everyone breathe. Exhale. Those who want to make it harder, you can add a little bit of that. Ooh, I can feel those muscles getting stronger. Keep breathing, give me the four. Breathe. Three. Breathe. Two. Last one. Oh, well done. We're going to roll over onto our tummies. So roll over onto your tummies, all the way over. And we're going to do a little bit of work for back the thigh, back the thighs, backs of thighs and bottoms. Now, sometimes we get cramp in our feet when they're hyperextended like that. So if you want to put a cushion under your feet, that's fine. Heads resting on your hands. You might want to just watch this before you do it. And we're just going to lift and lower each leg in turn. So one leg comes up. Then the other. Now the thing is with this, it's not about how high you're lifting the leg. Not bothered, doesn't have to be high. What I want you to do is lengthen it. So we're still in ballet, we're still in ballet mode. We are having that lengthening, really rigid, long leg. Tension going from the hip right through to the toe. And I'm not bending at my knee. Straight leg, straight leg. Okay, now those who want to add a little bit more, we're going to do pendulum, which means as one goes up, the other one goes down. Now, pull in your stomachs, everybody. Head can rest down. I've just got mine lifted because otherwise my microphone gets scrunched. Could be another four, three, two, and one. And rest. I'm hoping we all felt the backs of our legs working. We did. Okay, so we're going to let the lower body have a little rest. Well, when I say rest, I'm not going to let it rest. We're going to keep it strong. So squeeze your bottom, lengthen those legs, and come up onto your elbows. Now we're going to do a chest stretch. So take a breath in, or back stretch, I should say, and lift your chest and lift the chin just a little bit, and then release down. And again, lift up, squeeze your bottom, lift the chest, lift the chin. And release down. And one more. Up it come. And release down. All the way down. Let the back just go back to a normal position. Super. Now this time we're going to try a little bit higher. So hands on the floor. By your shoulders. Take a breath in. Push up. And see if you can lift your belly button off the floor. And then down you go. Exhale as you rise. Inhale as you lower. And I want you to think about it in the same way when we do a roll back or on a roll down, we round the spine. It's much the same with the chest here. So as you're going down, go down smoothly, rounding the body down, not in one big clunk. I've got a bit of cramp coming in my foot. I'm ignoring it. And this time, see if you can get your hip bones off the floor a bit higher. 
Down we go. Squeeze your bottoms, everybody. Breathe. We're going to do one more. Up we go. Lovely big push. And down. Super. Gently push yourself back into child's pose. Nice and slow. Because you've just had your back in a really extreme curve one way. And now we're doing the opposite. So nice and steady. Always have that choice of putting your hands in a little tower and resting your head on it. Exhale, <sighs> head on the floor if you can. But you know, for some of us that just won't work, so don't worry if it doesn't. You've always got the choice on this one, everybody, to do a cat stretch. And that's a nice, really nice stretch. Good work, okay, super. So we're gonna do a little bit of work now from plank to down dog and back to plank again. You might wanna watch for a moment if you've never done this before. I'm gonna start with a lower level and then I'll give you options to make it more difficult. So I think I'm gonna turn myself around so I've got a bit more space on my legs back there. Right, okay. First thing is gonna be the plank. So hands are a bit wider than shoulder width. Knees come back and we're gonna be in that extended arm but knee down plank. Just hold it here for me, everybody. Breathe in. Now I want you to tuck your toes under. Watch this if you want to. Lift up and push yourself into down dog. So I'm pushing my heels down, breath in, and then all the way back to that plank and I'm popping my knees down. <laughs> my glasses are coming off. Okay, breath in, toes go under, push up, and then come back down again and hold that plank. One more before we change it, breath in, Toes under, up you come, push up. And back down and have a little rest. If you've got a drink there, have a slurp of your drink. We're doing very well. Time, as always, is rushing by. Oh, 26 minutes, it's going so quick. So it's a 30 minute class and we have our five minutes relaxation at the end. Hopefully I won't go over. Probably will, I'll try not to. Right, so. I'm sure you all did that beautifully, so let's take it up a notch. This time the plank, knees are not going to be down. You can if you want to, of course. So give me a normal, full, extended arm plank position. Try not to let the back sink. Keep that bottom up, breath in, and then push into down dog. Hold it there, let the heels drop. Breath in, into plank. Okay, now into down dog. If you want to watch this next time, you can do into plank. What's going to happen next time? When we go into down dog, we're going to lift one leg up as we go. And bring it back to plank. Other leg, up it goes. Now, don't be tempted, guys, to go onto tippy toes of the leg that's down. Try to keep that heel low. We're going to do two more before we're exhausted. Two more. Last one. And hold your plank for five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. That should have made us all feel it a little bit. Well done, everybody. We're going to go to some stretching stuff now. So back onto our tummies, all the way down. Oh thigh stretch you know this one you're going to grab hold of your foot now you can do two at the same time if you like so if you want to grab both feet and we're going to push our hips down i'm just going to turn my head sideways because otherwise i'm going to crush my mic so push your hips down really ease them down so you're encouraging a big old stretch to the front thighs legs are quite close together so they've drifted apart bring them back together Okay, now what I want you to do, guys, is let the legs go a bit wider. Oopsie daisy. And we'll do the same thing. So pull the heels towards your bottom, push your hips down, and it just alters the stretch. It's quite unpleasant, I think, but it's, it's a good one. Breath in, push the hips down. Everybody breathe. Good, release your legs. Slowly roll over all the way over right onto your backs and i'm going to ask you to take your right foot and put it on top of your left knee you can see how wide i've pushed that knee out and the foot's the edge of the foot with the sole 
pointing towards my face. Okay. If you can, take your hands behind your left thigh, grab it, and put your head and shoulders back down. If you can't get your head and shoulders back down, stay here, that's fine. Breathe in. See if you can push your left leg in and it will add to your stretch. And we're getting into those hips again. We've worked them rather hard today, haven't we? So push in again. Hold it there. And then release, down you go. Give your legs a shake out. Don't forget everybody, I'm looking for some inspiration for a better name for this class. I think Pilates Intermediate is rather boring. Hands behind the leg. So any inspiration you can give me would be great you received. Bring that leg in. Holding it there for me. Breathe in. And again, pull that leg in. Hold. A little bit longer. Lovely. Release your legs down. Give them a little shake out. Bring your knees in. Hand on each knee and rotate them round. So you probably can't see there, but what we're doing is rotating them away from each other. And again, nice little hip loosener and lower back. Good for that lower back. Back round the other way. Round we go. Good. Feet to the floor. We're going to do a twist now. You have to listen carefully to this one. So first of all, cross your right leg over your left. I've got them really close together. Arms out wide. Pull in your stomach muscles and let both legs gently down to the left. Down they go until they touch. Don't worry about this shoulder. That right shoulder doesn't matter. Once you've got your feet down and you're thinking, okay, I'm all right. Look at your right hand. Breath in. Exhale and unclench everything. I mean everything. No teeth grinding. No grimacing. Allow the legs to soften. It doesn't matter if they're not clenched anymore. Release those legs. And we're putting like a corkscrew stretch right through, a twist, really right through the spine. Keep it there, breath out. And this is a cracking stretch. Don't do this one if you're likely to have children or dogs or anyone else jumping on you, because this is the sort of move you need to get into gently and come out of gently. Okay, so to come out of it, I'm gonna bring my right hand back over to the left, gonna release the legs and bring everything back to the middle. Now, sometimes your back feels a bit weird, so give your knees a little pop, in, bounce them in, and sometimes you'll feel the back go pop, and it'll feel better. Okay, other way. So now, left leg over right. Arms are nice and relaxed. Slowly lower them down. Take your time. And this is a sort of stretch that if you can hold it for, you know, a minute or so, you'll really feel it change where you're feeling the stretch. It starts off in one place and it will travel around. Turn your head and look at your left hand and see if you can shuffle your shoulders a bit so your shoulder blades are flatter towards the floor. Joe, you know, it's still a beautiful blue sky, wow. Exhale, unclench. Try not to clench, release. Brilliant. Bring yourselves back over, set everything back to one side, back into the middle. Give your knees a little hug, oh, a little bounce. Maybe that rotation again, I always like that one. Feet to the floor. We are finished. So that is our main class done. Oh, we've got time for relaxation. So if you're staying for relaxation, get yourselves back down there again. Close your eyes. I'm going to just switch the microphone off and just bring the music down a little bit. Get comfortable, we've got five minutes of peace and quiet. So you can extend it to 10 if you want to. No one knows how long the class is, do they? You can just say, oh no, it's a 45 minute class. You can have a proper snooze. So let yourself settle down um, and uh, I will just switch this off. So close your eyes, everybody. Close those eyes. 
settle yourselves down. I'm going to stay sitting, but I'm going to shut my eyes, relax my shoulders. If you're lying on the floor, I want you to open your arms out and let them wide. Let your fingertips have a little shake and wriggle about, and then curl them in so they're resting in towards the palms of your hands. Your legs are open quite wide, so your feet turn out, as do your knees, your hips. And then the main thing to do now is let the body soften. So every time you exhale, soften the body down. Well done everybody. I do hope you enjoyed that. Just bring yourself slowly back into the room. Don't hurry. Have a little stretch. A little wriggle of your fingers and your toes. Ooh, lengthen those limbs out. And then when you're ready, very gently draw your knees up. Give them a hug. 
Maybe have a little rock side to side and then slowly roll over onto one side and bring yourself gently up to sitting. Once you're up to sitting, it doesn't have to be cross-legged, roll those shoulders back so you're loosening up this area. Lots of tension sits around here. Relax your arms down. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale. And again, inhale, reach up and exhale fantastic oh i'm glad you all enjoyed it that's fantastic who's we've got rachel is enjoying it thanks thanks tessa two hours of gardening and a bike ride Therese, you must be exhausted hillary oh good lovely to see you hillary that's fantastic it's, it's always lovely to have you there everybody and so nice when you send messages it genuinely i feel like i'm still in touch with you all so have a really lovely weekend it's easter weekend i hope you've got some easter chocolate I've got some easy chocolate. I've bought myself some just in case no one else bought me any. Uh, Monday classes are, are normal. I know it is a bank holiday, so don't feel obliged to join me. But if you like to, please do. And it's optional fancy dress. I am. I have genuinely. I hope Zara and Rachel are going to dress up, um, and I want some pictures. So obviously after the class, or even before the class, put some pictures then so I can see what you're wearing, and I'm going to see what I can find. The most bizarre outfits that I can find. I'm going to have a look and see. Um, so have a really nice weekend. The weather's going to be fab, I think, most of it, isn't it? Enjoy, um, get a bit of peace and quiet, do some fun stuff, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye, everybody. See you soon.